Hello there and a very good evening. At a time of heightened tension between the world's two largest economies, U.S. Navy warships twice sailed near islands claimed by China in the South China Sea in the past few days. China's military confirmed on Friday that the two U.S. warships had sailed through the contentious waterways and said it tracked the passage of the American ships. The busy waterway is one of a number of flashpoints in the U.S.-China relationship, which include a trade war, U.S. sanctions, Hong Kong and Taiwan. The spokesman for China's Southern Theater Command urged the United States to stop this kind of provocative actions to avoid any unforeseeable accidents. At least eight protesters who had been holding out at a trashed Hong Kong University surrendered earlier today, while others searched for escape routes past riot police who surrounded the campus. The siege at the Polytechnic University on the Kowloon Peninsula appeared to be nearing an end with the number of protesters dwindling to a few dozen days after some of the worst violence since anti-government demonstrations escalated in June. Hong Kong's new police chief Chris Tang urged those remaining inside to come out to have a peaceful resolution. Most of those who remain say they want to avoid being arrested for rioting or on other charges, so hope to find some way to sleep past the police outside or hide on the near desert campus. 31 bodies have been found hidden in clandestine graves outside Mexico's second largest city, Guadalajara. Authorities in violence torn Jalisco state said the work of uncovering the clandestine graves began earlier this month after authorities secured a 3,400 square foot plot of land in Lajo Mulco, a suburb of Guadalajara. Ten of the bodies were identified, nine of which corresponded to people who had been reported missing. Prosecutors and forensic officers excavated the graves with the help of heavy machinery, dogs and ground-penetrating radar, while forensic experts will begin investigating the areas on Friday. And that is all from me. I'm Shira Abamanso for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.